Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the plugin Twixter to create slow motion but actually get it where your slow motion doesn't have this warping afterward. This is frame blending, which is how Twixter makes it look so smooth with less frames. Like in this example here, I'm going to use a 29 FPS clip and you still get like pretty smooth shot right there, right? That's because it's blending these frames and in this moment where I want the slow motion, it looks pretty good. But then afterward when he's moving full speed, where it goes back to 100% speed, you can see I just slapped Twixter across the whole clip, which is what a lot of editors do. And as it keeps going, there's frame blending that continues. And honestly, it's super unprofessional and I would never use something like that because it looks horrible. It's just a it's just a cop out to leave it on. Like you have to do a little bit more extra work to make sure it doesn't have that. Now there's always the solution of just like cutting it right there, but then you have to get the right stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I do, some simple steps so I can have Twixter just in the moment I want and to avoid the frame blending that happens around Twixter and when Twixter is not even using the slow motion, it's just on the clip. So we have the regular clip here. I might get it to load a bit, but we'll just say slow-mo the same part so when he starts jumping up, which is around here. So what I'm gonna do first is duplicate, so Control D, then I'm actually gonna go Control Shift D, which I mean duplicates and splits, or just splits it I guess. And I'm gonna delete the first half. So this is where we want our Twixter to be. So let's just grab it and go Twixter. We use Twixter Pro. I'm gonna put it on here and you can see it's off by one frame. Double check your frame FPS. So you can see in mine here is 29.6, or sorry, 0.965. So I have a little bit off on this one. So let's go 29.965. And there, now it's back to the frame rate I wanted. So let's just do the same slow motion. I started at 100%. Let's say, let's go a few frames over and I think I had it to like 25. You, you always double check, I hit U to bring up my keyframes. Let's just see, oh, I got sound effects on. Eh, sorry about that. Let's mute the sound effects. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Then we want it to go back to regular speed before he snipes. So let's just have it something around here this is always to play with a bit obviously if I had a song I'd be matching this to the song like when there's like a warp or sound effect or something like that go back to 100 and it's probably gonna have it already shooting yeah so because of that you can actually bring this back and bring this back Then he goes back to 100 and he does his attack right there, right? So now what I would do is I'd find the last frame where it goes back to 100, Control Shift D, delete, well, split this, delete Twixter. What I'm actually gonna do is split the bottom one too so I don't even see it. Now I'm gonna find this exact frame that fits here. So all you have to do is click on this top layer, go difference, go back a frame to where it is and just slide it until you have a pitch black frame. If you don't have a pitch black, you have to go to the closest possible one. So it might be slightly off on the frames. Then you can put this back to normal. So that's super easy. If you're not doing it to match the music, you can see it goes in and now it's back to regular and there's no Twixter. I'm gonna show you one more example where you wanna do the slow motion in between two different snipes. So basically I'm gonna to try to get it to match normally where the song would be, like on two different beats, because that's where you want your sniper shots to be. But I'm gonna show you how you can make it slow motion in one part and then kinda speed back up or get back to the speed that you need so that the syncing you've done earlier, which I have a tutorial on syncing you can watch, it'll be, uh, I mean, down on my channel, just how to sync montages. You can use this in between the syncing to create like very smooth speed up and slow downs where you don't have the frame blending when you just leave Twixter on. So let me set that up. All right, here's a rough example. What we have here, I just marked where the sniper shots are. So just pretend there's music and these are the beats. And I wanted basically one sniper shot here, and one sniper shot here, but I want to have, instead of just a hard cut, which if you were going to do a hard cut like this, it kind of works because I mean, you, just, you, just, you would want them to be moving the same direction and you want this to be on the beat of the song. But let's say we don't want that hard cut. So what we're going to do is play with some slow motion. So. Let's go through everything we just kind of went through with the earlier part. So he snipes, and then you could have it go slow motion right about here, you could say. We'll have to play with it because this is a 29 FPS clip and it might not look that good. So let's slap this on and let's just remember that it was 
965. You can always check by moving up a frame, see if it looks weird. And let's go back a frame, put 100%. Move it to around here, and let's just go like 45 or something. We'll see how bad the frame blending is. Doesn't look too bad there. Let's uh, move this down to hide it for now. So the frame blending is pretty bad when the gun hides, so what we would do is just wait for the gun to hide. And then move to some of the slow motion here. Let's make it even slower. Again, me just playing with it, but I'm going to show you. So a slow mos. So he, he was a whoosh, right? Kind of shot like that. Then it would go back to 100. make sure the frame blending isn't too bad okay go so say it goes back to 100 and now we want it to get over here where he's gonna snipe so we do the exact frames which I'll show you let's let's duplicate this what's nice is we have this all set up here I'm gonna bring this to the top and on this one we're gonna change to difference what's nice is these markers are gonna line us up where we need it later I'm gonna go back to this last frame of this one here and find where it is pitch black which means it's on the exact spot I think I just passed it. So it doesn't do pitch black, but that's close enough. Right click, go time, enable time remapping, put a marker on that. All right, what's nice is this mark shows us exactly where it is, so we already know where the pitch black is on here. Turn it off difference for a second. We want to see when it would look normal to go back to a regular speed after being sped up. So something around here. So let's put a time mark there, and that's when it's going to return to regular speed so that this section onward is regular speed again. I need to move over just so I can see this one, just so I can move this to fit into my frame. Now line up my shots again. Now just to double check, you can see if I go difference, this is pitch black, and if I go to this last frame here and I move this on top of it, it's close enough to pitch black where it's going to work. Now you could just look at that here. If I go to normal, hit U to bring up your keyframes, you could see, oh, so he snipes another guy in between. So I did that wrong. But you get the idea, basically, it's gonna go like that. Pretend it doesn't snipe another guy. But slow mos, and then he would speed up, and it doesn't look that good, because what you actually need to do is select both of the keyframes here, bring up this, go to the ramp, and you need to have it kind of warp in and warp out. So let's try something like this. It's a little too much, you can obviously ease it, but I kind of like when it eases back down. So let's let it render, it would snipe, then he would go for the next snipe. Now. Obviously, I made a mistake when setting this up because you don't want to skip one of the other snipes. You would want it to go into this one. But just pretend there isn't that middle snipe there. Boom. Boom. You can snipe like that, right? So now I have a slow motion mixed with the regular shot. And there's no frame blending because the only bit of Twixter is right here. Snipe, slow motion. And you can do in any way. You can do it before he snipes. I mean, I don't like slow mowing when it's on a scope because there's too many things that can mess it up. That's why I did this part here, and having the gun hide is really nice. But you get the feelings snipe, slow motion, snipe. One thing, too, that you can always cheat, which is nice, is you can usually don't have to use the exact frames to go from, I mean, the speed up to be exactly the same. As long as it's moving the same direction and moving fast, I'll show you even. So let's say he's speeding up and we cut out the part where he snipes that guy. This is just me doing it on the fly. But let's say we have something like this. I'm gonna have to make the other part fit, but you could have, I'm gonna force this part to fit here now. So in order to do that, I'm gonna have to do some more uh, slow motion stuff, but just so I can show you that you don't need the exact frames. Like you saw, I cut in the middle of some of these frames right here, which is super nice. Okay, so I really slow mode this part. So grab this, go back to difference. And I always use difference to line this stuff up. But now you're gonna see I actually cut out that second shot or his double kill. And it almost looks smoother because I'm not using all the slow motion stuff. So let it render for a second. Well, look at that. I even cut out some of it. The slow motion is a little bad, but then he continues, right? So those are little tricks you can use. You don't have to use all the frames for it. As long as it's moving fast, even if it's going this wrong direction, you can see, because when things are sped up, you won't really see exactly when the direction changes anyways. So 
So snipe. Speed up. Snipe. So, <laughs> again, you obviously don't want to cut out one of the snipes, so I'm just showing you the tools you can use, and this is exactly what I use in all my montages when I'm using Twixter. I never just slap it on a whole clip. I always play with the difference blend mode to line things up. And a an ex perfect example here, when there's two sniper shots I need lined up because I already have it pre-synced in Premiere and I bring it over here, this is how I kind of patch it together with different bits of um, Twixter to time remapping so that I get back to a time where there's no Twixter and there's no awkward frame blending. And yeah, that's how I use Twixter in my montages. If you have a better way, please let me know. Obviously, I'm not the best at Twixter, but I find this is much better than when people leave a ton of frame blending. Like, this is too much frame blending. I would I would rework this, but this is just an example here. Let me go back to some of the other ones. But hopefully this has been helpful, guys, and I'll make some more videos soon. I've just been busy with work, but I got a really cool video coming up, so take care. Thank you.